because my colleagues seem oh, to be order, consulting. Honorable members, can, can, we, can we hear Senator Onyonka in silence, please? Thank you. CS, uh, I am happy to see you here today because I know you as a friend of mine and somebody I've worked for, with before. I'm actually going to ask uh, a very simple question. If you remember when you started talking about the declaration of inf the provision of information and you brought in the data protection law, when I walked in, that is actually what you said. You said that it's not possible for you to avail information so that we can know who has received uh, social protection money. The reason for that, uh, CS, is because the people of Kizi County that I represent have been asking me to give them the names of the people from the wards all the way to the sub-counties. How many people does the Kenyan government provide finances to or pay the monthly stipend to from all our wards and all our sub-counties? CS, I believe that the law doesn't stop you because essentially the argument you're making is that you cannot disclose that information and I believe that could also be the clever way on how you're trying to justify and say that you can't give us the names of the people who have gotten jobs ever since the government started uh, uh, signing the bilateral agreements. CS, we want that list. The reason why we want that list is that Kenyans, we have a bad habit. When we are given an opportunity to look for things which we call Kenyan, we only share them with our tribes and our friends, our cousins and our families. That list is the one which will show the equity, the fairness and the distribution of those jobs that you are giving out there. So the first question I wanted to ask you is, can you please promise this house that you are going to provide that list and it will be a genuine list and it will be an honest list. Number two, and uh, Madam Chair, I really got confused because when I came in, there was a wonderful question that uh, Senator Kavindu had raised and this had to do with the Kenyans because this is a matter she's held personally. The question I wanted to ask the CS is that does he think, and I could suggest that your honorable, you could engage with CS I mean with the Chief Secretary Musalia, do you think or don't you think that as we sit in this house that it is actually us as a country, we are busy complaining how the American government has never compensated Kenyans who are injured from the bomb blast which took place. But the reality is it is our responsibility as leadership in this country to make sure that this house can pronounce itself so that even when the Americans are busy in court trying to figure out this issue, don't you think that as Kenyans we need to compensate our people who died and the people who actually were blown up during that uh, bomb blast which took place in Nairobi? I think, Madam Chair, we've been, I mean, Madam Speaker, we've been extremely irresponsible and casual the way we handle this matter. And lastly, I want to ask the CS, I hope he can... Uh, can Honorable Senators, you are actually supposed to ask just one question. Thank you. Uh, yeah. I, I, so I, you I will answer. stand down, Madam Chair. Thank you so much. Uh, CS. Uh, thank you very much, Senator Nyonka, uh, for your questions. Um, in terms of provision of information, we have with us in our offices the payroll. And... Uh, because it is important, and I totally agree with you, we don't want ghost people being paid. We want people to say, Ui mtu analipwa, atumfahamu ametoka wapi. I have no problem of any individual member of parliament uh, in the National Assembly asking me, can you give me specific information, so that, because I can be able to, to give you that information, so that you can be able to double check and ensure that those people that have been listed are within the, the your area, so that you can also help me also identify, maybe some have passed away and they're still being paid, others have moved to other uh, counties and they're still being paid under your, the name of your county, etc., etc. 
Welcome back to Mora TV. So the video I've just seen there is when the CS of Labour, Mr. Alfred Mutua, was being grilled in the Senate. And there is a lot of information which came out and a lot of things that Kenyans need to look upon. And the first one is that Senator Onyonga tasked Alfred Mutua with the question on declaration and provision of information. This is where the people, he wants that the people who enjoy the monthly stipend, especially the elderly people and the vulnerable people, to be known because it used to happen, but now it seems that that money is meant for some few people who are enjoying the money meant for other people. On that note, he went up to talk about protection of the data law, or the data law which deals about protection, whether you can really post people or say about people or mention people somewhere where without there there needs to be a certain protection on that matter and that social protection is some of the question which was being talked about especially the social protection part is about the money for the elderly people where they were getting the monthly stipend but it seems that this thing is going to be unfair or it's becoming unfair and he was tasked with the question of providing information about who are the people who are enjoying this money or who are the people earning this money because this must come out very clearly and if it's come out cl very clearly then the information will be justifiable and it will be equitable because it it they hope that the information that will be provided will be very fair and truthful he went ahead to say that who are the people who got employed since this guy came to power because there are some agreement maybe with other countries and a lot of things which are being talked about right now in the kenya but nothing much is being talked about apart from that so they were saying that the names of the people who have gotten jobs need to be posted so that it can be clear whether this cs have given their people tribolic jobs or these jobs are fair for everybody that's what they want the senator wanted to talk he went away to say that there have been a lot of trouble because even the kenyans who were blown in the 1998 bomb blast on the in kenya twin tower blast that you remember that al-qaeda bomb blast have never been compensated as the american government is in court trying to sort out this issue the kenyan have never compensated these people it's, it's the fact that it's the government of Kenya which is supposed to compensate its, its people. And he went ahead to say that there is irresponsibleness in handling of these matters. And so when it came to the time for the CS to talk about this issue, the CS stated that he has no problem with that or mentioning the names of these people. But it is the people who will come out saying that these people have been paid so that they can talk about these issues. These people have been sponsored so that they can raise these issues and a lot of things revolving around that topic. I, that's are some of the things which are expected to be happening in the coming days. So make sure you stay tuned. We are going to get you a lot of videos from the Senate and what is going on as we are with this Treasury CS who is next on the blog.